to talk more about the Fed statement, I do want to bring in the founder of Markowski Investments and host of the national radio program, Watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski. Hi, Chris. Thanks so much for joining us today. Good afternoon. Uh, we got that forecast from the Fed today after they declined to release one at their last meeting. Central Bank expecting that deep contraction this year, but a quick rebound to growth in 2021. What's your take on the bank's plans to continue stimulating the economy as we do emerge from this pandemic? Well, uh, Jay Powell's become like the cool parent who lets you have parties at your house and do all sorts of stuff pretty much. I mean, it's, it's really inexpensive money for a very long period of time. Um, again, you, you take a look at where the markets are and, and you kind of put it into perspective in regards to uh, some of the losses that companies are taking and, and the fact that we're going to see uh, economic uh, growth at the uh, low levels moving forward. And, and it is kind of surprising to some degree. I know we had a little bit of sell off in the Dow and the S&P today, but again, NASDAQ racing through the roof. Uh, there's a lot of money floating around and it's finding its way into the equity markets. Uh, you mentioned the NASDAQ tech stocks have been on an absolute tear this week. NASDAQ closing at that new record today and above 10,000 points for the first time ever. That surge, as you mentioned, comes, though, as there's been a little sell off on the Dow and the S&P. They're pulling back from their recent rallies. Why is tech so attractive to investors right now? It's it's just allowing companies, a lot of the stronger companies out there to stay in business. It's also uh, a lot of the, uh, the other companies to actually become more efficient and deal with some of the losses uh, that they've had. Uh, when you go into a slower period and when you have a recessionary period, smart companies try to find ways to save and to cut corners and to become more profitable. This is why good companies come out of recession stronger than they did going into them. And many of these technology companies help uh, in that endeavor. And we did get the latest reading on small business optimism yesterday. The NFIB's optimism index rose 3.5%. Expectations for conditions to improve in the next six months jumped about 7%. Many states are now reopening at a faster pace than originally expected. How much does that contribute to the increase in confidence among business owners? Well, I, I played Escape from New York a couple of weeks ago and went down to Florida and, and saw the difference. I'm, I'm back in New York right now, and, and the uh, it's just striking, the difference. I mean, down there, businesses are opening up, restaurants are opening up, uh, people are getting out and about, and obviously uh, that brings some sort of confidence to the table. Now Long uh, Island uh, parts of New York have entered uh, another phase and allowing a little bit more businesses uh, to get up and going. And you can just see it in and around in the air a little bit, people getting more excited. They can go out to a restaurant, sit outside they can't go in and obviously that helps with confidence if it's shut down you've been sitting at home for a long period of time people are going to get more excited about that with that being said many of the, the business owners out there are going to have a difficult time finding workers so i speak to more and more of them they're trying to get their workers back but their workers are making more money on unemployment than they would be if they went back to work uh, Chris, we were in an employment situation ahead of uh, this uh, pandemic that really benefited employees over employers. Employers were having to be more competitive as they do look for employees to work for them. You mentioned that they're having a difficulty with the unemployment situation, but how does how does that change when we get out of this pandemic and we get out of this increased unemployment benefits? Who's going to benefit businesses or employees? I think once the unemployment runs out, people want to go back to work. And again, I, I caution people out there that are waiting uh, this out. I think that you, you're going to have lots of jobs that are just not going to come back. That happens after recession. Eventually, they will. New jobs will be created. It's a whole process of, of creative destruction. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's going to benefit employers uh, coming back in because it's going to be a, a little bit more difficult to find that job because of some of the technology companies that we talked about. Um, I speak with many, many businesses around the country. So, well, you know what? We're going to come back, but we're, we realize we're not going to need this worker or that worker. Uh, we've utilized technology to replace them. Uh, so, yes, it's going to be a different uh, environment coming back uh, when everything goes back online. All right, Chris Markowski, founder of Markowski Investments, joining us to discuss the Fed's latest decision and the U.S. economy as it continues to reopen. Thanks so much for coming on the show today, Chris. Thank you.